the epic Himalayan road trip Delhi, Jammu, Srinagar, Kargil, Leh, Manali. When the scorching heat of Delhi beats down on us, the best way to beat the heat is to set off towards the crisp cool air of the mountains and this Himalayan road trip will help you do just that. While steep narrow roads and the high altitude make for a heady mix, it's important to make sure that you're comfortable with driving under these conditions. With that out of the way, let's set off on our grand adventure. Day 1 – Delhi to Jammu Before starting from Delhi, fuel up on a hearty plate of chole bhature or hot parathas. If you can't wait to get on the road, you'll find hot parathas with curd and pickles waiting for you at your first stop at Murthal, just 50 km from Delhi. There are plenty of dhabas here to appease your rumbling stomach. Zoom down roads adorned with bright yellow mustard and paddy fields on the side and make sure you pick up a bottle of pickles on the way to Sonipat and Panipat. Next up is Karnal, which is home to Karnal Lake where you can stop for a soothing boat ride. Get back on the road to come across Kurukshetra, which will take you back to the stories of Mahabharat. Brahma Sarovar here is a famous pilgrimage for devotees. Maintain a steady pace to reach Ludhiana and then Jalandhar by afternoon so that you can stop here for some finger-licking food at their dhabas. Tuck into a hearty lunch of tandoori roti, dal makhani and other North Indian delights and wash it down with a big glass of lassi before setting out again. Further down, reach Pathan Court as the sun sets and casts a golden glow on the roads just in time for some evening snacks of sizzling hot pakoras with chutney. Remember to pick up a box of their delicious laddus which you'll keep snacking on during the rest of the trip. Take the road to Jambu straight after where attractions like the Bahu Fort, Peer Kho Cave and several other temples draw in flocks of devotees at all times of the year. You must lose yourself in the meadow of flowers, Gulmark, which stands bedecked with the vivid colours of summer. Admire Gulmark's verdant valleys to your heart's content, but don't forget to treat yourself to specialities in Jammu, such as khatta meat, a tangy rich mutton dish, and one too many patisas. Day 2 – Jammu to Srinagar The roads from Jammu to Srinagar are full of undulating emerald valleys, soaring mountains and plenty of attractions worth making detours for. Half an hour into the journey, take the exit to Katra if you'd like to undertake the trek to Vaishno Devi. Up ahead, feast your eyes on vistas of lush green meadows framed by the majestic Himalayas. Then take a small detour from NH44 to Patni Top. Breathe in the fresh, crisp air and take pit stops along the way at roadside eateries to keep hunger pangs at bay. Next up is Ramban, known for the famous Swalkot Dam by the Chenab River, a hydropower project created by the government. After gazing at the gushing river water, wind your way down to Sharma Dhaba for an appetizing plate of Rajma Chawal at Pirha Market. The next part of the road may well turn out to be your favourite part because of the Jawahar Tunnel. This 2.85 km tunnel is for all those people who love tunnels but can never get enough of them. If you thought the only place you could strike the Titanic pose was on a ship, there's one Titanic viewpoint that comes up a little further on that overlooks the stunning Kashmir Valley. Cricket fans can stop by Beach Bihara further down, a bag manufacturing centre where you can snag one of those beautifully made Kashmir willow bats. Next up, Pampor, famous for its fragrant saffron which you can binge buy. 
then comes Srinagar, a treat for the eyes and heaven on earth, perched pretty on the flowing jhelum on which one too many poets have lavished their praise. Gaze mesmerized at its beautiful gardens full of flowers, at Dal Lake with colorful houseboats and its orchards heavy with ripe apples and peaches. A stay here is well advised and the Rogan Josh here among other delicacies will sate every foodie's soul. Day 3 Srinagar to Kargil Set out on roads lined with maple trees towards Kargil. As you approach Gandharbal, the roads get narrower and congested so drive cautiously. You will be rewarded with scenic landscapes of lush green hills and a snaking river that unfold in front of your eyes after crossing Gandharbal all the way to the town of Kangan. Take a quick break at Sonmarg ahead to grab a meal and then stare mouth agape at its lovely meadows. You can take a quick pony ride there and then wind your way down to Baltal. Baltal is popular for camping and is also where the Amarnath Yatra starts. Here's where the real adrenaline kicks in when the car begins the climb up the Zojila Pass at 11,557 feet. If you've been looking for snow, here's where you will find it. Edge forward on this road, flanked by sheets of ice as high as 20 to 30 feet. This road will stay with you long after you've crossed it. The emerald valleys give way to stark rocky mountains as you approach the town of Dras, nestled amidst sparkling mountains. Halt here to visit the Kargil War Memorial to bow down your head in respect to the brave soldiers who laid down their lives for our safety. From here, drive straight to reach Kargil. Day 4 Kargil to Leh Another new day on this epic Himalayan adventure takes us to lay past impressive snow-capped mountains. Around 45 kilometers east of Kargil is Mulbek, where a Buddha statue stands at 9 meters high along with the Gompa, full of rhythmic chanting. Get back on the uphill road full of towering cliff faces and mountains which climbs its way to Namikla Pass at 12,800 feet. Crane your head down to look down on a bird's eye view of the mountain range decorated by colourful Buddhist flags. Climb the Ladakh Plateau to reach the highest point on the Srinagar Leh Highway at 13,500 feet where vistas greet you as you drive past. Lama Yuru looms ahead with the Lama Yuru Monastery perched theatrically on a massive cliff. Drive on to be transported into a wholly different world of vast desert stretches where the Zanskar range looms in the distance. Take the serpentine roads through this otherworldly terrain to reach your destination, Leh. Day 5 and Day 6 Leh to Manali This trip may well take two days with the hair-raising bends on the road and the heightened altitude which gives rise to breathlessness. It's an uphill ride from here to Taglangla, the highest pass on the Manali Leh Highway at a staggering height of 17,582 feet. The landscape is stark now with rocky and clay mountains rising from the ground and plains with no vegetation. The monotony of the landscape is broken by colourful Buddhist flags and a river flowing gently through the valley. More plains lie framed by soaring hills, race alongside a stretch of 35 kilometres and you may just spot the occasional wild horse or hare here. Up ahead is La Chalungla at an impressive altitude of 16,663 feet. Drive cautiously down to Nakila, by which time you'll get used to the silence of the road and appreciate the erosion formation in the two valleys. You'll suddenly find yourself at Gata Loops, which has a series of 21 hairpin bends 
for about 7 kilometers as it winds its way to Nakila. Next up is Sarchu, a major halt where you can settle down for the night in Swiss tents or luxury tents offered by various campsites there. Lined with ridges, gorges and frozen rivers, Sarchu appeals to many who've been on the road. Recharged and refreshed, you can then head on to Baralachala. Further down in the foothills of the Baralachala Pass is the second highest lake in India, Surajtal, a cerulean blue inviting and untouched. Tuck into a meal at Zing Zing Bar, a cluster of three dhabas at the base of Baralachala. If you'd like to halt for the night, you can do so at the charming village of Jispa, 25 kilometers ahead. It is perched by the gurgling Bhaga River and offers clear night skies and perfect tranquility. If you'd rather push ahead, then continue on to Keelong, which has several eateries that dish out Tibetan fare and the Kardang Monastery. Wind your way down to Sisu, where the Atal Tunnel, claimed to be the longest highway tunnel above 3,000 meters in the world, starts. If you'd like to skip Rotang Pass, take the Atal Tunnel that runs under the pass to zoom straight ahead to Manali. You'll know you're approaching Manali when the landscape gives way to lush deodar and pine tree studded mountains. Once there, Pat yourself on the back for a job well done and luxuriate in the verdant surroundings of Manali, a road trip you will never forget.